Presents from my aunts in Pakistan. They sent me a salwar kameez, peacock blue, and another, glistening like an orange split open, embossed slippers, golden black, points curling, candy striped glass bangles, snapped, drew blood. Like at school, fashions changed in Pakistan. The salwar bottoms were broad and stiff, then narrow. My aunts chose an apple green sari, silver bordered for my teens. I tried each satin silk on top, it was alien in the sitting room. I could never be as lovely as those clothes. I longed for denim and corduroy. My costume clung to me, and I was a flame. I couldn't rise up out of its fire, half English, unlike Aunt Jemina. I wanted my parents' camel skin lamp, switching it on in my bedroom to consider the cruelty and the transformation from camel to shade, marvel at the colours like stained glass. My mother cherished her jewellery. Indian gold, dangling, filigree, but it was stolen from our car. The presents were radiant in my wardrobe. My aunts request cardigans from Marks and Spencers. My sour kameez didn't impress the school friend who sat on my bed, asked to see my weekend clothes, but often I admired the mirror work, tried to glimpse myself in the miniature glass circles, recall the story how the three of us sailed to England. Prickly heat had me screaming on the way. I ended up in a cot, in my English grandmother's dining room, found myself alone, playing with a tin boat. I pictured my birthplace from 50s photographs. When I was older, there was conflict, a fractured land, throbbing through newsprint. Sometimes I saw Lahore, my aunts in shaded rooms, screened from male visitors, sorting presents, wrapping them in tissue. Or there were beggars, sweeper girls, and I was there, of no fixed nationality, staring through fretwork at the Shalimar Gardens.